Zechariah 14, verse 4. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, And uh, someone asked a question on uh, one of my videos concerning uh, Zechariah 14, verse 4. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, if you start from the first verse to the third verse, you should pretty much know basically in a nutshell this is talking about Jacob's trouble again anyway I'm going to start at the fourth verse it says in his feet our Lord's feet first verse tells you that it's the Lord our Lord Yahweh Shai behold the day cometh the day of the Lord cometh and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee If I will gather all nations against Jerusalem uh, to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses uh, rifled, which should come to your mind. Um, Second Ezra is the uh, uh, 16th chapter, around about the 70, 70th verse. Uh, basically, this is uh, the time of uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. Pursuant to uh, Daniel uh, 12 and 1 and um, uh, Jeremiah, uh, was that Jeremiah 30, verse 7? Because in the third verse it says, Then shall ye, the Lord uh, go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And as you go, when you go down to the 12th verse, It's, it's talking about, uh, and this is the plague that, and and this shall be the plague wherewith yeah, the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So we read about that in like the first and second verse, right? Second verse, Zechariah 14, verse 2, for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem, Jerusalem to battle. It's 12 verse. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. This is also in Revelation, the 20th chapter, starting at the 7th verse. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their eyes shall consume in their holes. Their tongue shall con be consuming their, uh, consume away in their mouth. That's talking about the missiles, the radiation from the missiles. So, fourth verse again. And and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives. His feet are not going to stand on the Mount of Olives. It's it's, para, it's parabolic. It's it's poetic. You know, when the Lord comes, when you read the scriptures about the Lord coming back, it tells you in Daniel seven that he's coming back in a big UFO. Um, in in um, a second Ezra's. Uh, 13, Ezra saw him come on a, what he thought was a mountain, but it was a gigantic UFO. So he's not going to stand his feet. It's just, it's, this is just poetic. It's, it's uh, uh, proverbial. Um, it says in um, Acts 1, he was taken up into a cloud and he's coming back the same way. It says in um, uh, Revelation uh, 19 that he's going to come on a white horse. We know he's not going to come back on Pegasus. So it's just poetic. What it means is he's coming back in a gigantic ship and the world's going to be changed. He's going to take over the former world. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. When that, when that prophecy is fulfilled is when the Lord comes back. There'll be a change of... Uh, a rulership. The one kingdom shall be, what's the, the term? It's in, it's in the um, uh, the book of Sarah. You can put it down in the comment section. Sh that basically, this world will be transferred to us. Um, Daniel two, another another uh, scripture that that stone that will hit at the feet of that standing image. 
so it says uh 14 uh zechariah 14 verse 4 again and his feet shall stand in that day upon the mount of olives which the mount of olives is in the middle of jerusalem which is before jerusalem on the east and the mount of olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west now that doesn't mean that lands will well well actually lands will be split the earth will be the the, the make makeup of the earth will be changed again it says in the, and half of the mountain shall remove um remove toward the north and half of it toward the south so it doesn't mean that the lord is going to actually stand on mountains and things are going to be cleaved up as it's, it's a prophetic it's just talking about when he comes this this the makeup of this earth is going to be totally changed and the rulership is going to be given to the israelites let me start let me read the fifth verse zechariah 14 verse 5 and ye shall flee to the mount, uh, valley of the mountains and and the and the flee we're going to flee by being by uh, a great escape we're going to be uh delivered we're going to be beamed up so we're not gonna flee between uh, uh two mountains which is a valley like going back to uh Moses and the Israelites going through the red through the Red Sea or the or the Gulf of Suez and that actually physically happened the way we're gonna flee is by being beamed up into the ships that's in the fifth verse for the valley of mount of the mountains shall reach unto Azel yeah ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of uzziah we're not going to flee in that in that way we're not going to flee we're not going to say oh there's an earthquake coming things are getting split up let's run through this valley it's not talking about that it's just poetic it says um and and the lord or it says king of yahweh and the lord uh yahweh shai my power shall come and all the saints which are the israelites which are the elect because some of the saints that are not of the elect are going to die with thee and it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark but it shall be one day which shall be known to the lord not day nor night but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light. So there's gonna when the missiles come, the missiles are gonna darken the sun, the moon, the stars. So everything's gonna get black, and when those missiles come, there's gonna be and and and, and the missiles hit uh, ground zero. You're gonna see light. It's gonna be like daytime. Cause it's gonna be dark, and it's gonna be daytime. That's the the missiles are gonna cover everything. Wherever you, especially America, let's deal with let's deal with America. When the missiles come from the North Country and from the other nations that are going to shoot missiles, it's going to darken the sky because it's going to cover whatever light that's in the heavens. It says, um, and it shall and it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem. Now the living waters represent the earth is going to be cl cleansed but the living waters represent the truth the laws statutes commandments the truth of uh, the scriptures all the all the uh the scriptures being fulfilled meaning the kingdom it says half of them toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea in summer and in winter shall it be so it's from season to season from all year round the earth is going to be totally remade rebuilt back up for the israelites these polluted uh waters will be made fresh these contaminated waters or bitter waters in 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 revelation 8 chapter and revelation 8 chapter is also referring to the destruction 
so now when you jump down we're gonna jump down to uh Oh, let's read the ninth verse. It says, uh, Zechariah 14, verse 9, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and that day shall there be one Lord and his name and His name one. Meaning you're going to know the true name of the Most High because people are calling him Jesus, people are calling him Yahweh, people are calling him Allah. In the kingdom, we're going to know the Lord as one name or the true name of the Most High, which... We we are speaking the true name of the Most High, which is I'll spell it out for you: Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me jump down. Uh, jump down to the eleven verse, and men shall dwell in it and there shall be no more utter destruction but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited which are the Israelites 12 verse and it shall come to pass and it shall be the and this shall be the plague excuse me wherewith the Lord will f smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem so the, the so we're repeating the story from the f second verse. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. So back to the twelve verse. The Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So those the destruction is going to come in the midst of Jacob's trouble. Going back to Daniel 12, going back to, to to Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. That's the radiation from the missiles. That's the missiles hitting ground zero. And their eyes shall consume away and their holes in their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall shall be among them and they shall lay hold everyone on the hand of his neighbor that's second Ezra the 15th chapter so when these missiles come there's going to be turmoil in a lot of places around the earth like there is right now it says um they shall lay hold everyone on the hand of his neighbor and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor for lack of food. And you know, just all you got to do is read Second Ezra's 15th chapter, Second Ezra's 16th chapter. And when the Lord comes back, that's Second Ezra's 13th chapter. Then it goes into the into uh, the kingdom, and all the nations are going to learn the Lord's statutes and, and the commandments. Uh, that's uh, Isaiah uh, 2 verse 2 so like I said that's all that means that's just a prophetic I mean uh, a uh, symbolic way of how the Lord's going to come back he's not going to actually stand put his foot on one mountain and foot on another part of the earth and the earth is going to that's not going to happen it just means that when the Lord comes, He's gonna that the whole earth is gonna be changed and the whole world is gonna be transferred. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.